Hello everyone. I am Saif Abbas and I am a data science and business analytics intern at Spark Foundation. We have three tasks to, to perform. Uh, this is the task one. Okay, as you can see here, this is the task one, and we we use the uh, to perform the task. We use the uh, supervised machine learning with the help of the algorithm, machine learning algorithm. Okay, so uh, this is the simple regression method. As you can see, this is the spelling of regression is not correct, but uh, I need uh, I. Uh, I hope you can correct the regression spelling. Okay, so uh, with the help of regression, uh, regression algorithm in supervised machine learning, we use the prediction using that uh, regression method. Okay, so uh, to perform the task, first we need to import some libraries. As you can see here, we need uh, to import the pandas, numpy, matplotlib, scat, uh, sklearn. Okay. So pandas use uh, to um, manipulate the data, or you can you can say to visualize, to uh, clean the data, or to uh, to perform the different type of task on data. We use the mat pandas. Okay, uh, how to use the pandas, and what is the use of pandas? Uh, what is the use of numpy? Numpy is basically used to calculate the numerical value, and matplotlib pyplot used to plot to graphical visualization of the data set. Okay, uh, and uh, we here you can see we import the linear regression, linear regression from the SQLN dot linear model. So with the help of linear regression, uh, we can perform the task and we can predict the we can predict the, our insights from the data. So how to perform all these tasks? You can uh, you can see my uh, the previous list of uh, the on the previous list of on Python and Pandas and Plotlib. You can see my playlist. Okay. For this, uh, you you need to subscribe the channel and uh, press the bell icon. Okay, so uh, what is the use of these uh, libraries? You can uh, follow my playlist. Here we simply perform the task. So first we need to import, as you can see. Okay, then uh, as Spark Foundation provide a data set in CSV format or comma separated file, so we import first we need to import uh, our CSV file and uh, visualize data and uh, to check the data. Okay, as you can see here, our URL name dot provided by the Spark Foundation. Uh, we use a variable name data and to uh, to visualize or to read data. Simply we use PD. PD means pandas. PD dot read CSV and pass the URL name. Okay. Then if we need to uh, see the first five row or last five row, if we need to first uh, to show the first five row our data set, we use head head function. Uh, sorry, head method, and if we need to uh, see the last five row, we use simply tail method. Okay, and uh, tail method and head method provide only the first five and last five rows information. If you want to, if you want to uh, to see the ten, first ten, first twenty, or any row, you can simply pass here the number. Okay. Now, uh, after uh, seeing the first five row, you can see here our data set. This is the index zero, one, two, three, four, and the hours and scores. So the relation between the hours and score, uh, hours and score, with the help of this hours and score, we predict the we pre our prediction. We predict the uh, how many hours uh, need to study to score more. Okay. So first. Uh, we use the describe function to describe our data. Describe function provide the statistical information in uh, our data set. As you can see here, uh, the statistical uh, statistical information like count, mean, standard deviation, mean 75%, 25%, 60, uh, 50%, max, minimum, all are okay. Now we use the uh, with the help of matplotlib. In the matplotlib, we use the scatter. Scatter to perform to visualize the data in scattering form or scatter diagram. Simply, we write here plt dot scatter and data. Data is a variable name hours and comma with the help of comma separate data source. So the relation between source and the relation between the scores and hours. Okay. Uh, after that, you can see here the title. Title means uh, plt dot title means method provide the facility to uh, uh, to write the title name of our data and x label and y label. As you can see, x label means the name of x axis and y label means the name of y axis. Okay. So x axis is the study hours study and y label is the scores. Okay. This is the title name. As you can see, this is the title name. 
and this is the x label and y label and this is the skating point or skating data okay now we use the linear regression to uh, perform the linear regression first we need to uh, first we need to import sklearn model selection from uh, first we need to test 10 import the test 10 split from the sklearn uh, with the help of from sklearn dot model selection import test train train test split it means what basically when we have a, a, a data we first we need to train our data and then test okay so uh, suppose we need to uh, train 80% uh, data and test 20% data so this is a train and test and training model we use simply train test split okay so first we need to import this and then you can see here x train y, y test y train y test and split data x y test size point is 0 0.2 means 20% test and uh, remaining 80% for training okay and random state is zero simply we print the x train it means the how uh, our data is the train data and print y train and y data which is trained okay simply uh, after writing the printing we uh, press uh, the shift plus enter to run the program you can see our uh, data set which is the train data set and then now you can see we use the linear, linear regression with the help of linear regression we use regressor equal to linear regression and regressor dot fit x train y train it means to fit our data to fit the data uh, from the regression line to fit the data we use the fit method okay so as you can see here when we use the when we use the fit method as you can see the our data our skating point are very nearby to the uh, to the line which is which is with, with, the, with the help of linear regression we draw this type of graph to predict the next uh, what is the next uh, data set okay and how many hours uh, how many hours we use how many hours to, to read then uh, to read to get the more score okay now after uh, the performing the linear regression simply uh, train train the algorithm and prediction simply we train the data and then the check the train after training we test the data and then check how many how much percentage our data is uh, doing well and as you can see here when uh, y predicts and printed y predict y predict means as you can see here our, our data is in y prediction so this is the output in y prediction and then uh, we provide the x new is a variable name r dot reshape and regression dot predicts so you can see here 93 percent is accuration is provided by this linear regression method okay it is the very well or very good but not so you can perform the another algorithm to uh, perform or to increase our percentage okay so this is the uh, this is all about the this training uh, session or you can see the the task which you provide to me to perform i hope it is clear all of you if you have any type of doubt please uh, write in comment section and if you like the content please like subscribe and uh, share this uh, uh, my channel okay to see or to read in easily language or in hindi or in english uh, please uh, refer to uh, my playlist okay so uh, to update which type of training model machine learning uh, machine learning algorithm and basic python uh, numpy and all you can perform the uh, you can follow my playlist okay thank you again